welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new so in today's video i'm going to be doing a what's in my school bag so if you didn't know i am in slash going into year 11 so i am going to school back to school tomorrow because if you didn't know i was homeschooled for a whole year i was homeschooled for the whole of year 10 but i I'm going back to my old school tomorrow. Quite a long story of why I'm not going to be homeschooled anymore. But I might do a video once I finish school about like my whole secondary school experience and my experience being homeschooled, my experience at school, what I preferred and why I'm going back to school and stuff. So I will probably do that after year 11 is over. And I also get asked what GCSEs I'm taking. So I'm doing the core subjects that you have to do. So maths, English, double science and RE. And then my options are Spanish, geography, music and photography the lighting in this video will probably be like half dark and half light because of golden hour so it's like golden hour right now the sun's setting and it's like the lighting is a bit odd right now but anyways and also there are a few things that i don't have yet in my bag that i will so on some days i'll have my pe kit so i think that's just one day a week but i'm not sure what day yet and also i have my planner in my bag but i don't have that yet i'll get that tomorrow and i'll also have a clear pencil case for exams and then I'll have my lunch as well. So these aren't personally my favourite types of videos to watch but I know a lot of people love them and that is why I decided to do one and it was requested by a few people and I know a lot of people have done these videos so I just thought I would do it as well. So this is my bag, I absolutely love it. It is quite big and it's really heavy already. It's just a black faux leather bag from Accessorize and I absolutely love it and then it's got like water bottle pockets at the side. And it's from Accessorize, if I didn't say. It's £35 and I got it for £28 because it was 20% off. So now I'm going to actually show you what's in my bag. So I'll start with this outside bit. I just have my water bottle, which I'm going to take because there's nothing in it. I just put it in there for the purpose of the video. It's just a rose gold bottle, which I got from Wilco. I'm going to start with, like, I was going into like this big bit, but I'm going to go into the front pocket first. So the first thing I see in the front pocket is just a glue stick. This is a really bad glue stick, but it was cheap so i got it it came with like six i think and this was from home bargains i prefer the print stick ones but we couldn't find any so i just got them from home bargains i then have my house keys and of course they're on a pink fluffy pom-pom because pink is my favorite i then have my math set this is probably going to make the lighting go absolutely crazy but it's just a helix oxford <laughs> helix oxford math set it's a pink and green one because i couldn't find a pink one so it's just got a protractor i think it's called the one of these square rulers that we never use um they've got the stencils in there and i'm not going to take the rest out because that is impossible but it's got another square thing it's got a pencil it's got a compass and it's got a sharpener and a rubber so i'm going to put this all back because i honestly find these things so difficult to unpack it also did have a ruler in it but i took that out and i put that somewhere else and then the final thing I have in the front pocket is just my calculator. Again, of course it's pink. It's just one of the Casio ones. And it is baby pink. And then I actually don't really like it. Like, I think this calculator is really pretty. I love it. But like we have to have these ones now instead of the like the old ones. I'll put a photo there of what the old ones look like. And I way prefer them, but it would do. So now into the second compartment, which is like the main one. It is got a lot of space in it so i'm going to start with this this might seem a bit extra but it always comes in handy it's just a little emergency kit of things that i need so i've got a deodorant in there for after pe and this is just a dove go fresh one and it smells absolutely beautiful it's a pomegranate i think yeah it's pomegranate Pome pomegranate pomegranate pom pomegranate pomegranate i don't even know how to say it but then i've got a so sorry not sorry clean freak hand gel and this is so nice it's just a hand sanitizer even before corona i was always a hand sanitizer person just because you want to stay clean and especially in schools because they're really dirty places and this one actually sprays so you just spray it onto your hand if you can see that coming out and then you just rub it in like a normal one um the next thing i have in this little bit is again it's from so it's a body mist and this is the i can't pronounce that Myconus, Myconus Nights. I don't even know how to say that, but this smells absolutely beautiful. So they're really strict in my school about sprays. You can't like spray perfume or anything or body mist because of people with asthma. So we are allowed to spray them outside though after PE. So that is why I have that in there. I then have 
pixie glow mist and if you know me you know i absolutely love this i rave about this on my channel all the time and this is just in case my makeup gets a bit messed up or if i'm like need to retouch and i'll just spray that on top of it so the next thing i have is the dr pawpaw tinted peach pink balm so you can use this as a lip balm or as a tinted blush as a tinted blush it's really bad like it doesn't give much tint at all i love this as a lip balm it just gives the nicest natural pink blush to your cheeks and i can definitely get away with this at school i don't know about any other schools but i could in mine i then have a few makeup bits which i'm probably not even going to use at school but i have them just in case i have a powder which is the makeup gallery smoothie does it press powder which is the pound one and i have the pound one in here because it's not going to be leaving this bag and i don't use this often but i do like it so i'll keep this here because i don't use it the most i then have a powder brush and this is the spectrum a01 brush and this is like the cosmic set and i don't really use the cosmic brushes so that's why i have that one in there and then the final thing i have is a mini version of the Too faced better than sex mascara if you know me i absolutely love this mascara i have the full size one as well which is right here but i have the mini one in my bag and if you can see it's like an hourglass shape so i absolutely love this mascara so that is everything I have in the little emergency kit. I then have my pencil case and I'm not going to go into too much detail about what's in it because I did do a back to school haul which was my last video. But I will show you very briefly. So I've just got a few black pens. I have two of the Papermate ones which are amazing pens and then I have two of the Zebra pens as well. And these are pink but they write black and I love all these pens so much. So I've just got like two sets so I have a backup of each. So I have four typo ones which are peach mint green mint blue yellow and pastel purple and i have two stabilo ones which i got in sets but i just oh i have two stabilo ones which i got in sets but i took them out so i've got this bright pink one and this pastel pink one i also have a tipex in there in case i make mistakes we are not allowed tipex in school but i use it anyways and they never say anything and then in the front part of my pencil case i have a black sharpie for writing my name in books and then i have three pens i have a silver one a gold one and a white one because i do photography i haven't done it yet but i'm pretty sure i have it tomorrow according to what i was told and i have to write on black paper so i literally just had to cut the video because i was filming and then midway filming i realized i cut my thumb i don't know how i cut it and i don't know when i cut it but i just noticed i was bleeding a lot so i just went and got a plaster and now i can actually continue next i just have three Stabilo, or Stadler, I think it is. Stadler pencils, or Stadler, however you want to say it. I've just got three of them. These are the best pencils. I bought a pack of thin felted pens, but I thought they were fine liners, like these types of fine liners. That's what I thought they were. So I literally just had to go in my pencil case from last year and try and find a few. And then my mum said tomorrow she'll get me some from Pine Bargains. So just for tomorrow, I'm going to have to deal with these. Just for tomorrow, I'm going to have to deal with these, which are kind of running out but it's just one day i've got four of these stablo fine liners i've got a blue one and then i've got like a bluey greeny one i've got a green one and i've got a red one and then i have one purple smiggled oh i keep dropping things i have one smiggle um i have one smiggle gel purple pen and i think i got this when i was like 13 but i still have it and then i have this as well which is a pink pencil which is a pink pen from paper mate these are the pens i was actually looking for this year but i couldn't find them and then i just have a pink sharpener i have a rubber and i just have a set of coloring pencils which i showed in my haul which i got from poundland i then have this notebook which is from wh smith and it just says take note and it's marble and it has pink pages and honestly in year seven eight nine yeah i only went to that school for year seven eight and nine and then i'm going back for year 11 but in year seven eight and nine i always took a notebook and i never used it but i feel like i might need it this year so i did take one and if not i will use it for something else and then i just have two folders so i've got this folder which is just a white one which i'm probably going to use for homework and then not white it's clear and then i've got another clear folder with plastic sleeves in it and i feel like i'll either use this to hold my books in or or this as a fold that I can keep with me to keep my revision in so it doesn't all get messy. So now for the final compartment, which is the back one and it's very small. I literally just have a ruler. This is a 30 centimeter ruler that doesn't fold because I always break them. And this is one of the shatterproof ones. 
and it is bright pink which I absolutely love and then I have my glasses case because I wear glasses if you didn't know I am going to be wearing contacts to school but in case the contacts the contacts flips or I don't have enough time to do them in the morning I'll just wear my glasses so I've kept them in there and then in my glasses case I've just got the glasses cloth I've got the glasses spray and I've got some gum we're not actually allowed to chew gum in class so I don't do that but I keep it in there and also with braces I know they say you can't have gum with braces but my orthodontist said it's okay if you have sugar free and it is sugar free and then I just have a purse which is from River Island and I got this for Christmas in 2019 so I got this last Christmas and in there I just keep my so I just keep my membership cards and my bank card in there and then in this front bit I just have a bunch of coins so that is actually everything I have in my bag I really hope you enjoyed this video good luck to everyone who's going to school I'm pretty sure everyone's already gone back but I really wish you all the best of luck in the upcoming school years I hope you get the grades that you want and I hope you work really hard I love you all and I'll see you in my next video mm -hmm.